uh, I had a chance to uh, be in the new train, the train, uh, wow, the magnetic train. Yeah, magnet. uh, and indeed, uh, Shanghai impresses me enormously. There's a city that combines the highest technology capacity mm -hmm. with simultaneously a very humane very. nature right. and at the same time a, a city that is open to the world, a city wow. that is the bridge between China and the rest of the world and a city, a city where the most uh, sophisticated forms of innovation uh, are taking place and at the same time the cultural diversity uh, of China is fantastically represented. Thank you. And I would like to say something uh, which is quite uh, important. I mean, tackling the challenge of climate change has always been a major focus of your tenure. Um, Shanghai has made significant strides with its like electric vehicle, uh, renewable energies, and green initiatives. So what further steps do you believe are necessary for Shanghai to become a carbon neutral city? Now I think Shanghai is uh, moving clearly in the right direction. Um, the number of electric vehicles now is a majority in the city. Uh, uh, we have a very strong bet on renewable energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, Shanghai is perfectly conscious of the impacts of climate change. Mm -hmm. Shanghai is a low-lying city, yeah. sea level rise is going up, mm -hmm. and uh, Shanghai is also preparing itself yeah. to defend its citizens mm -hmm. and to defend the city mm -hmm. against the, the uh, impacts of climate change. Yeah. This combination of mitigation and adaptation is, I think, something that all cities in the world should right. adopt. Well, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I have a uh, souvenir for you. It's from Shanghai Media Group, and I hope you like it. And uh, these are our different channels. Uh-huh, there you go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs>